Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I thought today I would film a very standard work from home routine video, but I wanted to talk about the five things that I have kind of incorporated into my everyday routine to really help me stay focused, stay productive, break up the day a little bit because I find when I head into the office, which is you know a couple of times a week, the day is really, it goes really quickly because I'm constantly breaking it up. So I've been trying to do that at home as well. And I wanted to share these habits with you because they're so easy. They're not unrealistic. They don't take up a lot of time, but they really have improved, I guess, my mental health because working from home can be not mundane. I can't find the right word for it, but the days can kind of all morph into one. So I find this has just really helped me. So obviously starting off the day by getting up, having a shower and hopping straight into active wear. If I was to stay in my pajamas, I find I'm just not very productive and just sprucing myself up a little because I found that what would stop me from taking Remy for a walk or popping to the shops on my lunch break to pick up maybe some milk and bread and maybe a little bit of lunch is if I'm not ready. So that's the first thing I like to do. I still have half an hour before I have to start work. So I thought I could make coffee and take Remy for a walk. So before I even turn on the computer to start my work day, I do like to spend five to 10 minutes just clearing my space, making it tidy and making it feel really relaxed. So because I film in here, I also prepare all of my Etsy orders in here. This office can become quite messy. So spending that time just setting up my space just stops me from becoming really distracted because I am one of those people. If there is mess around me, I constantly have this urge to clean it before I can move on to doing the next thing. So clearing my space is really important as well as listening to music in the background. So spending about five minutes just setting up my space is a habit that is so easy and it really does change the way that I work and helps me to stay more productive. Moving on to habit number three, it's a pretty obvious one, but that is creating to-do lists and time blocking. Now using these in combination is what has changed my work from home routine. So I actually found out about time blocking by watching other people's work from home videos and finding out their productivity tips. So I actually just use my phone timer. Some people do have actual kitchen timers that they keep on their desk, which seem really fun, but I realized I can actually just use my phone. And basically in the morning, I'll create my to-do list and I used to just kind of work my way through it and see how much I could get done. However, I found I get task fatigue. So if I'm on one task for too long, which sometimes in my job, that can be the case um, I kind of get bored of that task and I find the quality of my work isn't as good so what I've been doing is setting like 15 half an hour or one hour timers and I find if I go between different tasks and kind of circle back to them the quality of the work is much better so I'm sure you can find a way of applying time blocking to your current to-do list no matter what role you're in and I've actually been using this method on weekends as well when I'm doing the house cleaning um, something that I often use it for is putting my clothes away that is one job that I always struggle to do but if I set a timer for 15 minutes and I have a basket of clothes there, I'm much more likely to put them all away. It's crazy how the brain works and how you can kind of trick it into playing all these different games. So absolutely love time blocking. I use it every single day now and it's an absolute game changer for productivity. Breaking up the day with 20 to 30 minutes of movement is essential for me. Not just because I feel like I should be doing some exercise, but purely because I'm in pain otherwise. Sitting in a stationary position, I get sore shoulders, sore wrists, sore elbows. Honestly, I feel like I get sore everywhere and I just need to move. So if I'm working in the office, I'll usually just take myself for a walk for about half an hour and I find that does the trick. But when I'm working from home, I can jump on my exercise bike. So I received this a couple of weeks ago. This video isn't sponsored by your soul, but I have been gifted this bike. 
and it is amazing especially if you're someone that works from home ryan and i use this every single day and it has just made things a little bit easier so the gym that we go to generally if we go in the afternoon or early morning it's super busy which is why i canceled my gym membership about six months ago so this is called the yasol g1m plus bike and what i love about it most is the fact that it has a screen so this screen is compatible with netflix youtube and also peloton so if you've heard of a peloton bike this is just like a more affordable version of that and i've always wanted one of them so the fact that i can ride a bike do exercise whilst catching up on youtube is just a game changer for me because even when i went to the gym i would always watch youtube or Netflix on my phone whilst I was on the treadmill or on the bike and I would have to kind of balance it. So I absolutely love the screen feature. I also love that you can move this bike around. So at the moment I have it in our living area because sometimes I do like to just turn the screen and I have my yoga mat laid out here so I can do some yoga classes as well or Pilates. However, over the weekend, Ryan did wheel this bike out to our back deck. So that way he was outside. He was watching Remy play around in the garden whilst he was doing some exercise. So this thing is honestly amazing. And it's just the convenience for me because I am one of those people that if I have to travel somewhere, I'm less likely to go. And I know that sounds bad, but it's just the way that I am. And also I get bursts of energy at random times. Sometimes in the middle of the day, I want to do a bit of exercise. Sometimes I might have dinner at night and at like 8 p.m. I feel like doing a little bit of exercise. So the fact that this is sitting here ready to go and you're not just limited to a bike because you do have the screen and you're able to do yoga, Pilates, stretching all while using this one setup. So they do have an app which gives you access to so many different workouts. You've got bicycle, yoga, you've got strength, you've got stretch, you've got cardio. And then if you scroll down, you also have just ride or scenic ride. So the other day I went on a 30 minute ride through France. It was absolutely beautiful. And they have so many other ones, but those ones I believe you need to pay the subscription to have access to those. So I'm gonna jump on for about 15 minutes. Emma Hill has just released a new YouTube video of organizing her wardrobe. It's 12 and a half minutes long, so I'm going to watch that. And then once I finish my 15 minute workout, I can have a bit of a stretch and then jump back on the computer. Now there are a couple of key features I wanted to highlight about the bike. So not only can you do some workouts via the app, but watching YouTube and Netflix is completely free. Another thing I really love is the fact that this screen can rotate 360 degrees, which makes it a complete setup for me. I'm able to turn the screen, do workouts with some weights, do some stretching, and then also utilize the bike. When it comes to sound, I was really surprised at how quiet this bike is. So you're able to do a workout inside the home without disturbing anyone. And it has exceptional sound quality with a four speaker system and two subwoofers. So I do have a discount code for you guys. If you use the code Shannon, you'll be able to get $100 off, bringing the bike down to $399. Continuing to find dignity in your spine, pressing down into your feet, right in that mountain pose. Now it's almost the end of the day. I have about an hour left of work and this habit is what I like to call kind of my wrap up routine. So tidying up loose ends, so filing any documents, deleting any documents that I no longer need, sending off any final emails and just kind of tidying up any loose ends from the day that I've had, as well as planning for the next day. Now I know some people don't like to do this, so it depends on the way that you work. But for me personally, if I rock up to work the next day, I can almost completely forget what I was doing the day before. So it is essential for me to create a to-do to list for the next day. So there you have it guys, they are my top five realistic work from home habits that have completely changed my everyday routine for the better. I feel like this routine has not only helped me stay fit and healthy, have a clear mind, but I genuinely love my work from home days because of these routines and I know that I can get everything done that I've set out for myself. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you all in my next one. Bye guys.